Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Today we're doing another back issue bonanza. Okay, so this is a mix. This is Enchanter. This is uh, the finishing off the story that I, I, I showcased Enchanter number two by, by Don Chin a couple of weeks ago in, in, in one of my daily videos. And uh, he graciously sent me the rest of the comics to finish off the story. So I did not order this. This was sent to me by Don Chin, who, by the way, is going to be showing up on a live chat one of these days. I don't remember the exact day. So there you go. You see it's autographed by Don Chin, the same guy who created the adolescent radioactive black belt hamsters. And this is, uh, I think, that finishing off the story. So this is uh, four. And these are not particularly comic books. These, these are like novel novellas. In, in, in with illustrations. So I'm looking forward to reading that. He also included this, Scorpion Moon. This is another novella. I don't know anything about this, so this is kind of exciting to read. So that, that'll be fun to check out. So that, that's the end of what was sent to me. But, oh, no, no, he sent me X-Farce also, X-Farce, but I already read that and filed it away. And before, and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a back issue now. So I, 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 should, I shouldn't have put it away first. <laughs> this, is Evil Eye, number one, by Richard Scala. This was recommended to me by Brian Bow of Wolf and Batsy fame. He said it's one of his favorite comics. So I was like, yeah, well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to check it out. I got this on eBay because uh, I, I couldn't find it anywhere else. He recommended that I get the collected edition, but I'm a nut job, and I have to have the individual floppy comics. So uh, Brian did the right thing, tried to save me a couple of bucks, but I don't listen. I don't listen to anybody. I'm, I have bad, bad attitude. This is Evil Eye number two. So I got number one, I got number two, and I, I was able to get number three uh, uh, in a regular, in uh, my comic shop, being the online resource, but it's not here yet. So that'll be in the next uh, Back Issue Bonanza. Like I said, whenever it gets to a certain dollar amount, I, I pull the trigger and, and pay for it. And then, uh, you know, and then I let it fill up again. So that'll be coming in a little while this i can't believe i started getting this i i said that uh D, old dc comics was like a, a hole in my collection a, a weakness that i have and i i i never got i never got western comics before as, as a kid i just i i liked westerns i used to watch westerns with my dad but i just comic books were for superheroes so i did not get western comics and even Pow Wow Smith, I think it was my last DC Universe Presents, I was like, I don't even know who this character is. Well, here he is. I don't know if it's his first appearance or whatever. But what is this? This is All-Star Western number one. It later turns into like weird Western where, where like J Jonah Hex is from. So I was, I was collecting Jonah Hex and I'm like, you know, I should get him from the beginning. So I, I got this. This It wasn't too expensive, so I'm, I'm not complaining about it. Okay. Uh, Star Wars number eight. For some reason, I forgot to get number seven. So number seven will be in the next back issue, Bonanza. And this is uh, this is where I started having, like, well, I, I had problems with this comic from the beginning because it, it, I, if I remember correctly, it was uh, created from, a, from like, a stills and, and storyboards before the movie. Like, they started working on it before the movie even came out. So things don't look like the way the comic did. And that, that bothers me. When, you, when you're a total freak, that kind of stuff bothers you. So... Uh, I, I collected the comic, but it was like angering me, like irrationally angering me. I told you I was, I was a weird kid. So uh, number seven was, was the first issue that was made up just by Marvel. And they introduced Jackson, the, the green rabbit guy. And uh, I don't know why I, I skipped that one. So now I, I, I bought that. So now this is it. I think I got up to 12 originally as a kid. And then, and then I, I stopped uh, because it was just driving me crazy. And I'm not a fan of, of, of science fiction comic books. I am now, but at the time I wasn't. So here is All-Star Western Presents The Outlaw. Um, another, like I said, I don't really know too much about, about Western comics. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning about them as I go. So this should be exciting. But this is number two, just so you don't you see the glare. This, this is going to be excellent. The Outlaw. And this is Marvel Team Up number 17. I, I just got 16. I, I'm missing I, I, I'm missing so many now. I had them all. I, I, I but I, I I know I'm missing I, I know I don't have six well, I have 16, 17 now, but 18, 19, 20, and 23. I know I never got those. So I, I'm picking those up because I need them. And then I really gotta look through my comic collection and find out what the hell happened to a bunch of comics. So now I'm gonna clear the lip. The lip and here you go. 
I got a near mint comic of this because I'm a freak. You know, here, here, we'll showcase. So here's the difference. This is the one that I, from my personal collection that I got off, off, off the shelf. You can see, you know, I, considering what I put this comic through, this is an amazing condition. And this is the one I just picked up. So there you go. All right. I'm going to put this back over here because whatever. And here we go. Because I'm a freak. I like to have my comics in good condition, you know, and if I could afford it, why not? You know, and these, these to me are important comics. These are really as much as to me, they kind of, I thought it was a great story, but at the same time, they, they kind of ruined the X-Men, you know, and that it became like, hey, everybody hates us after, after these two issues, but it is credit where credit is due. Now, this comic, I don't recognize the cover at all. So I maybe I missed this particular comic as a kid, but I remember having up to 12. So I, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I missed 10, or maybe I just don't remember the cover. I don't, I don't know. And then here's Jonah Hex number six. Jonah Hex number six. Just so cool. What is this? Oh, Amazon Warriors. Whenever, remember, when I do a back issue bonanza, I just, I just open up the... Uh, the, the box and try not to look at everything because sometimes sometimes well lately it, it'll be like like a while between uh putting it in into my order bin and actually pulling the trigger and, and buying it so sometimes I, I forget and this this is something that I forgot this was probably the longest sitting in in in, in my uh in my back issue bin oh here's scout number eight you know I, I read number one to five and now and now I'm picking up the rest I'm liking it I'm liking it Here's number 10. You got to move plus oh good. Fashion and accent action no longer in it. Fem Force, the She Cat. What's this? The Fem Force Forever 20th anniversary. Oh, okay. Okay. And I have to clear the lip. The lip. The lip. And Scout number. Fashion and action. I I I really don't like it. I just don't like fashion and action. Oh, okay, here's Evil Eye, number three. So I take back what I said about it coming. I, it was in this bit. You see, I, I kind of forget what I uh, what I ordered because I, they, they go into the queue, and then when it hits a certain amount, I uh, I purchase it. So here's Adolescent Radioactive Black Belt Hamsters. I picked this up because I, 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 ne I, never, I never read it, you know, and I got Don Chim coming on my channel. So, I, you know, you got to, got to do the right thing. Got to do the right thing. <laughs> got to read, got to do your homework. Here's Jonah Hex number five. And, oh my God, I have, I have this. I have this. Why did I buy this? Now I have two cups. Oh, and it's kind of beat up. Oh man, it's kind of beat up. Oh, it says good condition on it. I didn't notice that. I never would have bought that. So I'm pretty disappointed in this, but that's my own fault for not paying attention. Here's Scout number six. That's a great cover. That's a great cover. And this is the last in my new back issue, but I've been answered. This is scout number nine. Good. And this issue, free Airboy. Oh, so is this the first appearance of, of the new uh, Airboy? That'll be cool. That'll be cool. So there you go. That was my back issue Bonanza. I should have another one in, in a week or so. And thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow will be Tuesday. And I'll be doing my live chat with, with Pete Cimetti tomorrow. So that that is... Uh, I normally do my live chats on, on, on Wednesdays, but, uh, you know, Pete already does live chats on Wednesdays. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. So, uh, I, you know, I'm flexible. It's nice. So I'll, I'll do it on Tuesday instead. So tomorrow I normally try to up update videos at noon. So, you know, Tuesday, whenever I do a live chat, that takes the place of my normal video. So there you go. That will be done. It'll be, it'll be published later tonight. So come around eight o'clock Tuesday, Eastern standard time. All right. That's Pete Cimetti, owner, operator, and uh, general guru of, of Alternative Comics. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.